we'll take Franz Kafka. My name is Avner, and uh, I live in Beta Emek, here in the Western Galilee. I was born in Israel, in Tel Aviv, uh, and um, at the army I was uh, an officer at the engineering forces. Actually, I was the first officer going from the Israeli army uh, to NATO, to Germany, and I was there doing, uh, participating in a military course, uh, very special experience. Um, nowadays, I run the Hebrew culture program in Nesamim for, I think, 15 or more years. Uh, and uh, for my living, um, I am meeting executives, managements, and teams in a kitchen, in my kitchen, and uh, through the missions we do in the kitchen, we are learning and improving the management skills uh, and the um, uh, teamwork. Okay, wait, so this is already cut from before. The Hebrew culture class is an amazing and wonderful opportunity for the members of yes. Nesamim to meet different aspects of Israeli life, of Israeli culture, and a few social aspects as well. Um, Half of the lectures I bring with me guests who are trying to bring their own individual story to the topic. Uh, soldiers who are serving in the army, a mother who lost a son uh, are coming to the topic of the Israeli army. Uh, immigrants who changed their life and immigrated to Israel are uh, joining us when we talk about immigration. Um, I'm the first woman rabbi in Israel, a reform rabbi, is coming when we are talking about modern Jewish life. Etc. The Tel Aviv field trip, which we do in the spring, is a very, very good opportunity for looking at all these aspects we learned in the class in reality. Uh, at this trip, for example, we meet uh, a former Etzel member who was, one might say, a terrorist against the British, uh, and uh, he will proudly show us um, his wanted um, a poster where the British army is offering a lot of money for his head. Um, etc. Uh, when I come to Nesamim on the first Wednesday of each month, it's a wonderful That's experience a for me as well, looking at the people uh, in different step and stages of the Nesamim program. And um, also, uh, the idea of Nesamim is very, very appealing to me. This is why I've been doing it for so many years, and I'm still enjoying it as if it's the first year I'm doing it. Long time ago, um, somebody from Nesamim approached me about teaching Hebrew in the village, uh, and this started a long-lasting relationship that I enjoy very much. Um, living in the Galilee, knowing there is a place called Nesamim, I've never been there. I never met anybody from Nesamim until the day I started teaching uh, in the village, and it is um, a unique experience for me as well as for the guests I bring uh, with me for the lectures. At the beginning, I had to look for people that would come and share with the people of Nesamim their experience. And nowadays, at the beginning of every year, I get phone calls from people, when am I coming this year to Nesamim? I want to make my plans, which shows a lot. The idea of Nesamim uh, is very, very appealing to me, and I'm so proud I'm proud of it, uh, and I can help because the fact that, Jew, that uh, young as well as elderly Europeans are coming for a year to the village here in the Galilee and learning and experiencing different aspects of Israel, I think is something I'm very proud to be part of.